Hi, this is Dr. Tom Falkenberry from the Department of Psychological Sciences at Tarleton State University. In this second video, I'm going to show you how to do basic descriptive statistics in JASP. <clears throat> now, this assumes that you know how to load a data set and change the variable types, which I discuss in video one. So if you haven't done that yet, you might want to take a look at that video first. So the sample data that I have is a simple little data set with 50 participants that has age, gender, and the results of two surveys. And I want to do some basic descriptive statistics. And JASP makes this very easy. If we go to the Descriptives button up here at the top, we'll just click on that, and you'll get an interface that if you have any uh, experience with SPSS will look very similar to uh, what you've done before. Uh, if you have no experience with previous software, this is pretty simple. So what I want to do is simply look at all of the variables that I want to get descriptives of. In this case, I'm just going to do them all to show you some, some slight differences between uh, uh, continuous variables and nominal variables. So I'm going to highlight all of them and move them over to this tab. Now, as soon as I move them into this box, the descriptive statistics just sort of automatically happen. And this is the default set of statistics that JASP does, uh, whether you ask for them or not. So you'll notice that it tells you how many valid data points you have, how many missing ones you have, and then it gives you the mean, standard deviation, min, and max. Now you'll notice one thing, gender has none of that information. And the reason is because gender is a nominal variable. So statistics like mean and standard deviation don't make sense for that. So we'll talk about how to uh, deal with gender in just a second. Now the first thing I want to do is look through some of the, the possible options down here at the bottom. So I can display plots if I want. So that'll give me uh, histograms or bar graphs for appropriate variables. Okay, so those might be useful to you. One of the nice things about any of these is if I want to include them in a manuscript, for instance, all I have to do is hover my mouse over and you'll notice there's a little triangle that appears. Click on that triangle, I can copy the plot, move over to something like Word, and then just simply say edit, copy, or sorry, edit, paste, and there it is in the document in a nice, uh, Nice format. Okay, so that's that's pretty neat. I can resize it as, as necessary. Okay, so let's get rid of that. I don't need that right now. Go back to JASP. And I can do that with anything. I can do that with this. I can do that with the table up here above. Well, let's say I don't want plots, so if I just uncheck, I'll get rid of the plots. Um, if I do display frequency tables, that will give me some information for my nominal and ordinal variables. So for example, gender, I don't get much up here, but down here I know that I had 35 females, 15 males, that tells me the percentages, etc. So it'll give me some information for those non-continuous variables. Okay. And then finally, let's see, I don't want the, I'm going to get rid of that. Let's go down here to the statistics tab. There's a whole bunch of things down here. Suppose that you also wanted median and mode. If I just click on those two, you'll notice they automatically appear for all of the continuous variables. Same way, skewness and kurtosis will also appear. So here's all of my information. Let's suppose that I wanted to put all of this into a manuscript or a paper that I'm writing, but I don't want that column with gender. Well, let's just get rid of that. Let's go up here, move it back out, and then the the table automatically changes for me. So this is a really neat thing because now I can click on this little triangle, say copy table, go back to Microsoft Word and paste that table into my document. And it's formatted in a mode that's really close to APA format. So pretty neat. So let's see, go, go back to JASP. Yep, that's all we need. Okay, so uh, lots of things you can do with just this basic descriptives tab. You can uh, you can calculate your statistics very easily, and you can translate between JASP and your word processor of choice very quickly. So that's it. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk about possibly how to do correlations. So stay tuned.